tribulation, the things that are described in Revelation chapter 13, uh, the things re described in Revelation period, you know, after the fourth chapter when the church is gone, uh, the things that will happen to those who are still on the earth um, that don't take that take the mark of the beast. Um, you know, this Antichrist, he's going to make a peace treaty with Israel for three and a half years. And then he's going to break that. It's, it's a peace treaty for seven years, but he's going to break it in the middle of the uh, the seven year tribulation at three, three and a half years. And uh, he's going to destroy them. You know, what I'm saying he's going to destroy, uh, start destroy, trying to destroy the the. Um, Israeli, you know, Israeli people, you know, and uh, the people that live in Israel and take over that land. And uh, he's going to set himself up in the temple um, of Lord of, uh, of, of God and uh, in Jerusalem. And he's going to make everyone praise and worship him. If you don't, you're going to be a rebel. If you don't take the mark of the beast, they're going to be sought out after as a renegade and, you know, captured and killed. If uh, And you won't be able to buy or sell anything. Um, if you don't take the, the mark of the beast in either in the, hand, in the right hand or in the forehead. Uh, like I said, people who believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior at this point in time, before the rapture, uh, as long as you continue to do that and are willing to even pay the price of your life to get to heaven, you will, if you, those who lose your life, you will find your real life in Christ after death or after this rapture. So you just keep it, you keep on and keep on. And we won't have to go through this uh, seven-year tribulation ran by the Antichrist. The Antichrist will oppose us because he feels like we're a threat. We're the only ones who know the truth, guys. We're the only ones who believe in the word of God and believe that it's true. So we're the ones who are the threat. We, we know what's going on. There are other secular people that also know of the one-world government agenda. Um, but we as Christians, we know about the Revelation chapter 13, God. We're not caught off guard by this. We're not caught off guard by anything. We're not caught off guard by the, the signs in the sun. He said that Jesus said, in my coming, it'll be signs in the sky, such as the sun, the moon. As the sun will be darkened. The moon will not give light. The stars from the heavens will fall from the sky. The heavens will be shaken. And then, uh, at last, the sign of the coming of the Lord will come. His throne will come in the clouds with his mighty angels. No one knows the day or the hour that he will gather us, uh, will gather his people. But we have to believe in Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Uh, I want to, before this, this video gets too long, I want to get to some of uh, the videos that I've looked up with the second son. Uh, so y'all, you know, you, you don't have to take my word for it. Look for it yourself. It's out there, man. Look for it. Just go to YouTube. Look up second son. Two sons. Two sons in the sky. Or look up Signs in the Sky, December 12, 2012. Look up Nibiru, uh, Planet X, Nibiru. Uh, it's out there, man. People are seeing it with the naked eye. It's here. And the, uh, hold on. All right, so listen, folks. Uh, like I said, all you have to do is go to YouTube. Look up Signs in the Sky, December 12, 2012. Uh, you'll see signs of this second sun in the sky. you also see sightings of... All different kind of things look like UFOs, all, like all kinds of stuff going on. Do your research, man, on your own, man. I, I found some of these videos. Uh, just look up s subjects like, uh, like I said, two suns in the sky or two suns in Spokane, uh, Nibiru. This is another video. Uh, Nibiru, two suns visible in Russia. Uh, then you have this... Um, this thing describing a crop circle um, that, that came and uh, mysteriously left within an uh, hour or so. Uh, it was covered up, you know, by whoever. Um, after this ma massive crop circle that was about four soccer fields long, um, with basically a prophecy of December 21st, 2012, or around December, between December 21st uh, to December 25th, uh, 2012, where it would be two suns in our sky, and when we see these, and when we see these two suns in the sky, that it'll be uh, horrible things for the Earth to, to come, catastrophic events, uh, magnetic pull, or this 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 Nibiru or this Planet X or this brown uh, dwarf planet. Uh, that they're talking about that's, that we're visibly seeing. Obviously, since I'm me doing my research just now, um, that. 2000 was, was they've been seeing it since 2011 people started really starting to seeing it about last year uh 2000 
11, um, like around March, February, June, like all through it, you know, and ever since then we've been able to see it with the naked eye because it's so close. Uh, like I said, this prophecy, this crop circle, it, also, it says that once this, these two sons, or it looks like two sons are in our, in our midst or where we can see them, then it's going to be a uh, disaster for the earth uh, following, you know, pending that. It won't be the end of the earth, but it'll be catastrophic for the people, the inhabitants of the earth. Uh, so we have to get, have to be prepared for that. But um, Jesus is our Lord and Savior, and he also always saves us, you know. Uh, so look up, just look up the subject of two suns in the sky uh, and, and, and on YouTube. Uh, I'm going to be posting them on my favorites. Hold on. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah, so we've been seeing all of it. It's everybody's seeing it. I've seen it with my own eyes, so I'm, I don't have to be a skeptic or think that, you know, all oh, these people are making this stuff. i seen the planet, didn't know what it was. It was it was like the sun when I saw it. You can listen to my video, the audio. My son thought it was a, ra thought it was a rainbow. I thought it was the sun when I saw it. You know, I was like, oh, yeah, I see the rainbow, but I was like, oh, that looked like the sun. And he was like, and then I was like, okay, but that's not the sun because the sun is over to the left. And and this is, over, you know, this little ball of light, you know, is it looks like it's shining like the sun, but it's not the sun. Um, had a rainbow in front of it. And then people have the same exact, the same exact uh, sighting of this, this planet, UFO, whatever it is. Planet, I, I believe it's Planet Nibiru, whatever they calling it. Planet Nibiru, Nibiru the Sh Destroyer, whatever you want to call it. This planet that's been prophesied about. They said there's some uh, Sumer uh, Sumerians or something. I, I don't, I've never heard them. They said they've been talking about this planet forever, that it was going to come in our solar system. And, um, and it was going to cause, you know, catastrophic events uh, for the Earth, you know, uh, possibly killing two-thirds of the people in the Earth. You know, once again... All of these numbers and things are all described in, in the book of Revelation of all the mass things, the bad, horrible things that will come to the earth in the seven-year tribulation, the, the whole earth being scorched. How would that happen? You know, two suns or planet, uh, solar flares, all these things come together. Um, you know, talking about uh, all the vegetation, all of that be gone. You know, uh, the, the water will be turned into... Um, Oh, ma mountains will be taken off of their mountain, uh, of of their their places, and moved to another. You know, pole shifts, different things. These things are in the Bible. You know, uh, and everything is lining up. So this planet is bigger than our planet, uh, from what was being but being told. It's bigger. This Nibiru, Planet X, uh, red, brown, dark uh, uh, planet. You know, what I'm saying or whatever. Uh, Dwarf planet, it's it's being uh, it's revolving around the sun, just like we're revolving around the sun, uh, just like Earth is revolving around the sun. Um, but it's it's a problem because we're coming into its orbit, or it's coming into our orbit. And when it does, it's so massive and so big and moving at such a, a fast rate that it will um, take our gravitational pull and pull us off of our axis. Uh, which is actually predicted in Isaiah chapter 11 or 13, if I'm not mistaken, uh, where it talks about us being taken off of our, our axis. Um, and that's part of the end times. And uh, that's called a pole shift. And uh, once we, we know, you know, when those things happen, you can have ice ages in certain places. You can have major floods in different places, uh, tsunamis, tornadoes, earthquakes, massive earthquakes, more than what they are right now. They're already horrible, so they're just going to get worse and worse. Um, and that's why they've been getting worse and worse, they say, because this planet is here. But I've seen it with my own eyes. I don't need nobody else to tell me. I've seen it with my own eyes. And now God has just given me the clarification that other people, many people everywhere in the whole world are seeing the same thing from Russia to China to uh, Wisconsin, to Fort Worth, to Houston, uh, I mean everywhere, man, everywhere in the whole world, Antarctica, you know, um, it's everywhere, they're seeing this stuff, you know, everywhere, man, um, this planet, and, and NASA wants nothing to do with it, NASA says there is no, there, are, there is no Nibiru, there is no Planet X, there is no Red Dwarf Planet, right by our solar system, with, that we can see with the naked eye, if, if, if they say their argument is, if so, we will be able to see this planet with the naked eye. We, my people, are able to see this. I saw it. My son saw it. 
with the naked eye. We saw it. It is the same thing. It's a planet. It is a, a ball of light. Looks like the sun. It's right by the sun. It's right by the sun. It is going to be to the right of the sun or it's going to be to the left of the sun. It's, uh, depending on what part of the earth you on. It's, 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 they are seeing it. They're seeing it in California. It's all over. That's why when I went to look, you can just look at those subjects, man. You can just keep going down the line, down the line. Everybody ain't making it up. Plus, I saw it in my own eyes. I seen it, man. It's a planet, man. It's a, like I said, when I brought it to the doctor, the TCU grad, you know what I mean? Uh, he said, look, that's Jupiter. He thought it was a planet, not a star, because it's just sitting there. It's right there, just sitting. It's not moving. It's not a comet. It's not a meteor. You can see it in broad daylight. It's bright like the sun. It's just sitting there, not moving. When I came out after about 35 to uh 35 to 45 minutes of being at the doctor's office. When I came back out, it was gone completely. The sun had moved on, and the 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 planet had the little planet had moved on. The little bright uh, ball of light looked like the sun had moved on also. So all I'm telling you, man, hey, it's not no joke, man. And you should be like I said, you should be very concerned that NASA is not telling the truth about this planet. It should be on every every news station right now just telling us, just letting us know that there's another planet out here by the sun being visible by everybody, whole, everybody in the whole world. What I mean by that, all different places, all di like I said, the U.K., the Australia, Africa, <laughs> um, you know, what I mean, Russia, like I said. It's all over. So what I'm saying is we have to we have to get it together, man. We got to get our lives together and give our lives to Christ, man. Before it's too late. I ain't saying I'm not the, the preacher of doom or the prophet of doom. All I'm telling you is what the Lord is telling me is coming soon. He showed me the, su the, the two suns in the sky. Pay attention, please. It's a must that you do. In Jesus' name, I love you all. I just want to tell y'all that, and I'm not going to make this video too short. So please look up this information I'm telling you. You will see for your own eyes. YouTube is a great tool because you can see all across the world people s that see the same stuff that I'm seeing and my son saw with that, s that sign that looked like the sun in the sky, two, looked like two suns. They all describing it the same way I described it because we don't know what it is. It looks like the sun, and then it looks like two suns. So all I'm telling you, when it gets closer, they say these today they say it's supposed to be a, a, a problem or things we'll see, two suns in the sky. I don't know. I'm not uh, out, out here for all of that. All I'm here for is to tell you, to warn you that we are already seeing it, and we're telling you what the ancients and also God, my Lord Jesus, I'm a prophet. He gave me this dream telling me it will scorch the earth. So pay attention, my, my, my people. I love all you. Peace. Mm, good.